So in life, you're told to get a grip, but you're also told to let go. So which one is it? In this video, I'm going to chat about the relationship between the hermit and the Wheel of Fortune and how that expresses this weird contradiction of sayings and how both of them are actually true. All right, let's get into this gig. It's going to be a wild one. So the hermit is about letting go. The hermit is connected to the Hebrew letter Yod, which means hand. It is the hand specifically in the act of creation. The hand as a symbol of creation, like literally us. This card has connections to ideas of dexterity through the sign of Virgo. Virgo is the sign of constant self-perfecting and um, co complicating and becoming and growing and developing and all things that have to do with um, the, the earth becoming better, creating itself better over time. This is also the hand of God that molded the universe and painted the tarot. We see the hand right here. It is the hand bringing the lantern, illuminating light, bringing the sun into nature to fuel the ecosystem and to literally fuel life on this planet. That's what's going on here. It's a lot, right? Cool. So this is the hand giving. The Wheel of Fortune is the hand taking. The Wheel of Fortune is connected to the Hebrew letter Kaf, which means hand in the act of grasping. And the Wheel of Fortune is an illustration of samsara, the chase, you know, our attractions and our aversions, what we want to hold on to and what we want to push away from. So it is the hand in the act of grasping. But it is also an illustration of the entire machinery of the universe. So the idea here, which is both a contradiction and a truth, because remember, in mysticism, the contradictions are where the wisdom's at, right? That's kind of the pattern here. And in, in, in loftier levels of occultism as well, the hermit is the moment when you let go of your personal will for the cosmic volition, the only true volition that actually is, which is the logos, the word, which is represented by Mercury and the Hermit here in the Hebrew letter Yod. And when we do that, we have a chance to glimpse the entire machinations of the universe and all of its law. Because the Wheel of Fortune means chance only in a superficial way. When you go deeper, it means law. So the, the gag of the whole thing is that the hand in the act of creating is creating the opportunity for the need and itch to grasp. It is the capacity of us as infinite beings to choose and to dive into the world of grasping and attraction and aversion in the same way that you dive into a video game and race to the finish line and have challenges and it's so exciting and you watch a movie and it's crazy and there's always a struggle because the struggle and the tension underlying that movie or in the music or whatever is what makes it so damn delicious. Follow for more. Much love.